I am going to absolutely smash this question. Right. There's only part I am. It started recording. <laughs> Here we go, last one. Question nine. Shh. Uh, the diagram shows part of the curve y equals minus 3 plus 2 root x plus 4. The point P53 lies on the curve. Region A is bounded by the curve the x axis and the y axis and the line x plus 5. The big is that region up there anyway. Use the trapezium rule with two strips, each of width 2.5, to find the approximate value for the area of region A. Right. Trapezium rule. We know how to do this. Two strips, each of width 2.5. So that must be the first strip is 0, 2.5 and 5. There are our two strips. When we do this, we do it in two columns, but it's a bit of a waste of two columns here, isn't it? Y is minus 3 plus 2 root x plus 4. So if you sub 0 into that, you get minus 3 plus 2 times root 4. You end up with 1, I think, don't you? If you sub 2.5 into there, you get minus 3 plus 2 times um, root 6.5. And if you sub 5 into there, <coughs> that gives you root 9. So you get minus 3 plus 6. So you get 3. Is that right? Have I remembered those correctly? Um, so now we put that into the formula. And it, we get that the area is approximately equal to a half. The step size, which is 2.5. The first plus the last plus twice the middle values, at which point we take our trusty calculator, put all those numbers in. And I know that some of you kind of do things in separate stages and use the answer button, but I would, I would write the whole thing in one go. Then you can check that you've got what's there on your calculator screen. And we get 10.2. Part 2. Was strangely for being in the last question, possibly the easiest two marks on the whole thing. Because it said, use your answer to part one to deduce an approximate value for the area of region B. Well, that means take away A from this rectangle. And the rectangle is 15, because it's 3 by 5. So all they want for part two is for you to do 15, take away your answer to part one. And in an act of pure generosity, whatever answer you got for part one, as long as you got an answer between 0 and 15, they allowed you four marks if you took that away from 15. I know one person got an answer that was more than 15 here. Is that, was that you? And that, that could, of course, that then makes it obvious that you've got it wrong. So that's why they don't give a, a carry forward mark for that. So the correct answer is 4.8. But really, the, the two marks were fairly straightforward. Now, part three is not actually that difficult a bit of question. If we follow it step by step and are careful about what the instructions are. So, it says, by first writing the equation of the curve in the form x equals a function of y. Well, let's, let's carefully do that. <coughs> y equals, is it minus 3 plus 2 root x plus 4? Yes. Okay. So we have to rearrange this to make x the subject. Okay. We're going to take 3 and add it to both sides. y plus 3 is 2 root x plus 4. It's just about undoing your order of operations, isn't it? We're going to divide everything by 2. y plus 3 over 2 is root x plus 4. Now what's the, the reverse operation of square rooting? squaring, so we get y plus 3 squared over 2 squared, so over 4, is x plus 4. So x is y plus 3 squared over 4 minus 4. Now, that is enough to get the two marks that they were giving for rearranging it. However, it's not quite where we want to be to do the next stage of the question because we want to simplify this as much as we can. Um, and this is where, I know it's at the end of the paper, and you've done so much, and you're looking at the clock and feeling slightly stressed, and this is where people make mistakes with multiplying out the bracket y plus 3, and end up writing y squared plus 9. But even under pressure, we've got to be sure that we get this right. This is 
y squared plus 6y plus 9 <coughs> over 4 minus 4. And so if we think about it one term at a time, it's, or do we want to leave the quarter? No, we'll think about it one term at a time. It's a quarter of y squared plus 1 and a half y. And then we've got, oh, I'll do it in two lines. Plus 9 over 4 minus 4. So that's a quarter y squared plus 3 over 2y. And 9 over 4, take away 4. That's 9 takes 16 quarters. So it's minus 7 over 4. That, at that point, you get your two marks. But this bit is necessary because of where we're going next with this. The question now says, use integration to show that the exact area of region B is 14 over 3. So that's the exact area of that region. And of course, we're missing one vital bit of information here, aren't we? If we're going to integrate it, we need to integrate it from that point there to 3. So what is that point there? Well, it's just the value of this function when x equals 0, which we've already calculated. It was 1. So that point there is 1. So we are doing the integral, the integral from 1 to 3 of a quarter y squared plus 3 over 2y minus 7 over 4 with respect to y. So we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, y cubed over 3, so that's 1 over 12, y cubed. 3 over 2y, so that becomes 3 over 4, y squared. And minus 7 over 4 becomes minus 7 over 4y, between 1 and 3. And we need to make sure that we keep on with exact working all the way through this, so we're going to put in our limits. That's 1 over 12 times 3 cubed, plus 3 over 4 times 3 squared, minus 7 over 4 times 3. So we have that, and we're going to take away what we get if we put 1 in there. At which point you could put it into your calculator or you could do some more calculations or you know, keep working through it. Or depending on how you are for time, you could say, if I've done this right, this is 14 over 3. Is it 14 over 3? Um, and I believe I've done it right because I'm amazing. So I'm going to put 14 over 3 there. Hopefully it's right. It is right, isn't it? Let me check it. Sure it will be. Okay? And that's maths.